Hey guys, I got five portrait tips you probably wish you have known last weekend. Tip number one, take note of the background before you take the first picture. Now all you have to do is just take a second before you take the picture and look around. Make sure that the background behind the person is not too busy that they take too much attention away from the person unless the background is part of the picture. So in the beginning you may have a kit lens which would be say uh, 18 to 55 or something in that range but it's a variable aperture meaning that it may start at 3.5 and go up to 5.6 well with that aperture you really can't take the background out of focus so you want to make sure that whatever it is in the background is a desired part of the picture if you have a more expensive lens say like a 2.8 lens or 1.8 or faster or what they call fast glass you can drop the aperture on that so that the background, although it may be a car or, you know, cars or um, an unsightly scene, you can blow that out some and get a very nice picture from that. Another option is that you can take the, your subject and pull them away, you know, further from the background. That way you can actually have a chance to blow the background out, even if you do have a lens that's like a 5.6 or a... Um, you know 3.5 wherever it variables um, throughout your range a third part of this first tip try to make sure that the background isn't so bright that it draws your attention to the background as opposed to the person that you're taking the picture of tip number two feel the frame whether it's a camera whether it's your phone take the time to just move in a little closer so that the person isn't so tiny in that big frame that you have you know you pay good money for your phone your camera whatever it is use the resolution that your camera or your phone has tip number three pay attention to the lighting that's on the person's face now this light can be coming through trees which causes highlights you know in certain parts of the face shadows on certain parts of the face now that can be artistically desired but sometimes it's not took a picture of my mom and dad and I love the picture but because of where they were standing the light just fell across their face and I wanted to capture that time that moment so I had to take the picture the way it was but I love the picture but if I could have gotten them in that pose without rushing in a different location that would have been a much better picture but sometimes you do have to take the picture where it is and you have you know you have no other choice also make sure you don't have any weird up lighting up lighting is a style that movies used to use um, back in the 50s 60s make sure you don't have any type of funny up lighting or lights bouncing off of any su um, surfaces that's causing you to have the ah! horror look yeah it's just not natural tip number four watch for facial expressions now you are the artist so whatever look that you're going for it's up to you to get your subject to relay those expressions to you tip number five check to make sure that your camera focus point is in fact on your subject and if all possible make sure that your focus point is actually on the eye that's closest to the camera so if I'm turned this way this eye is closest to the camera. Make sure that the triangle is on this eye so that you can have a better focus. Or this side if I'm facing this way. And as a bonus, let's add tip number six. Tip number six is simply to take multiple shots. Look, sometimes your camera may miss focus. It happens. So if you just take your time, breathe, take two or three shots, Go back through your pictures and make sure that you're choosing the picture that's actually in focus when you actually take time to zoom in. Sometimes you can do what they call chimp. Take a picture, click, hold it, play back, zoom into the picture. Sometimes you don't have time to do that. So just simply take multiple shots. Just take your time. You got this. All right. Be blessed. Hey look, if you're getting any useful information from this video, how about subscribing, commenting, so you'll know 
next time I upload a video and you can help me grow this channel. Also, any comments that you have, constructive or otherwise, is more than welcome. Move them further from the background so that you can blow that blah, 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 blah. Cameras are electronical device, electronical 